Has it got something to do with Katrina Kaif and Saif Ali Khan? It has got something to do with Katrina Kaif and Saif Ali Khan. Right. What else has it got to do with? So, you remember when we went to India? I do. And uh, when we were in Mumbai? <coughs> yep, I did. We went down to Kolaba. Yep. And we went to that place with the really average pasta, Leopold's. Yeah, the average pasta, yeah, yeah. And we were sitting there by the window and you looked to your left and I looked to my right and we were both quite quiet because there looked like a bullet hole in the glass. Ah, yeah, 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 I remember that. And you remember the blood? I do remember the, the blood. Glass. Yep. Yeah, so this has got to do with the terrorist attacks or after the terrorist attacks right. took place in Mumbai. When we, I, honestly guys, when we were in that restaurant and we saw those bullet holes, it was quite creepy. And yeah. what was even crazier was whilst we were eating, there was a shooting next door whilst yeah. we were eating. Yeah. And people came over and police over it, it was crazy. Um, so don't know too much about this film. We know it's coming out on August 28th. It has Katrina Kaif, which pretty much makes it good. Um, and Saif Ali Khan is quite cool. Um, it's called Phantom, so we should check this out because you told us to check it out. So here we go. Oh, wow. oh damn. That's pretty cool. Oh! So, let's speak louder. She's so hot. Director of this could be a con. Okay. Wait a second. Have we have we seen this before? Or kind of a film that's similar to it. I think hang on, well yeah. It's basically Mission Impossible, James Bond, um, all that kind of stuff, but not done as well. Okay. Tell me. <clears throat> all right. Okay. Tell me, and, and for the viewers, when you say it's not done that well. Okay. Right. Uh, so it's out. What's this? Uh, it's, just, it's, like, it's pretty cool. There's some great stills. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, firstly, I think that's an incredibly dangerous film. I have to say that because and I, I might be wrong, I don't know if you've got a different story, but basically I think what that film just said is no matter what the cost, we should do to them what they did to us without what seemed like no real intelligence. Let's just go in there and cause some shit. Um, it's a really dangerous freaking message if that's what it was. <laughs> fire against fire does not quite work. But what's actually really interesting about this is that Kabir Khan did, just did Bajan, uh, Bajan, yeah. which was a completely different message. I mean, we haven't seen this yet, so we don't exactly know. Well, actually, in actual fact, it seems like it's pretty straightforward what the message is in this film. Mm. Really, really bad message. Um, if if we're reading it right, and if I'm reading it right, if he's listening to it right. Um, 
I, 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 hey, look, I'll break down. I have any film, I just don't, and I have no interest in this, all right? And there's a reason why I don't have any interest in this. I've seen it before. I've seen a number of this, or many times I've seen it before, doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't <clears throat> think the, the, the action looked tight enough for me for an action movie. Um, the documentary style at the beginning looked pretty good. Um, I'll go with that. And I didn't quite like the snippets that they used in order to interact with, you know, like the other characters, like you've got one scene and somebody's else saying something else in another scene. It just didn't quite follow for me in this trailer. Okay, I'll tell you what that was. I haven't seen, I don't, I don't know, I probably haven't seen that many Kabir Khan films. That looked like Kabir Khan was there and he was putting together the storyboard based on the screenplay and over his shoulder was Michael Bay. He was going, oh, just put an explosion in there and put another explosion in there. For those of you that don't know, Michael Bay, Bay does Transformers and all of his films are terrible and they all have things explode and that's pretty much the gist of it. Say for Lee Khan, no way did he scream super badass action hero type guy, not at all. Katrina Cave, no matter how attractive I find her, she just broke the entire trailer. Like every time she was on, it was like, oh my God, I've got to act, let me act. But, but, even actually looking at it from a more realistic front, because it's supposed to be uh, the kind of based on real life events, so when you take documentary style films, they need to give that sort of realistic, a real feel. Okay. I didn't feel that way. I just felt well, that. That's because the tagline of this movie is Phantom, a story you wish were true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I don't know what more to say uh, about this. So. All, I, all I've got to say is that if the story as we got it in that trailer gets out there and it is like that in the film, this is a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> but Jungi Bajan was amazing because of the peace message. This is a complete flip for me, and I can't sit well with this. No, I, it, I don't know if it's a cash in based on trying to like, you know, the people that are upset about it. But either way, the acting was terrible. <laughs> the script looked terrible, the action looked terrible, uh, the soundtrack looked terrible. Uh, the only thing that looked good was Katrina Khan or Katrina Cave. That's it. Catch you later. Take care.